Hi, it's Tracy from Glitter Thumbs, and welcome to class. Today's Cricut Explore step-by-step, step, step four, uploading an image into Design Space. Now, I wanted to do a snowman, and I didn't quite see any that I liked in Design Space by itself. So I looked at this little snowman, and I was searching through images, and I really liked him a lot, so I picked him out. And I right clicked and saved him to my computer. Now this is a PNG file, which is compatible in Cricut Design Space, but you do need to create your own layers. Now once he's there, you need to go into the Cricut Explore homepage and open a new project. Now normally you would insert an image and scroll through the library that's already there full of images, but in this case we're going to upload an image. We're not going to vector upload, that's an SVG. This is a basic upload, which is a PNG or a JPEG. So we need to click on basic upload and we need to select and grab our snowman that we found. So I'm going to browse through, find my little snowman, which I know where I saved him, so let me go ahead and push my little button here. And there he is, and I'm going to open him up. Now, it says basic, intermediate, and advanced image. A basic image would be something that's more black and white. And if I clicked on it, you'd see he was, really only has a couple of colors available. So that's not quite what I wanted. I'm going to go back and see what I can find for intermediate. So we're going to click on intermediate and see how it looks there. The layers look a lot better. And like I said, going back, if I were to click on advanced, that means as it's creating its own little layers, it's creating more than normal. And really there's no difference between intermediate and advanced, so I'm going to go ahead and click on intermediate and next. Now you do need to specifically cut out or separate each layer. So right now, if I were to search on the eye, you'll see in a second, there's an undo, redo, there's an eraser button, a magic wand, and an eyeball and a scale or crop. If I click on the eye, it's going to show me exactly what it's going to cut out. And because I just want the outline, it looked perfect. I'm going to tag this as a snowman outline. It needs to be in black. Just because what I, that's what I tend to do for my outlines, I color them black, but it helps me for when I'm uploading it into Design Space, I'll be able to automatically know what color to, to put it as. Down below are your tags, so if you're searching for your image, it'll just give you a, an easier time in finding it itself. So I'm going to put Snowman down here and Snowman Outline. Fix that a little bit. I'm going to copy it because all of our other layers are going to have pretty much the same tags in it. And click Next. As soon as that's done, you can see my little outline now that is in an upload, but I need to do my other layers. So I'm going to look for my snowman again. I'm going to put him into an upload under immediate, or sorry, excuse me, intermediate image. Um, and then I'm going to look through here. Now, the magic wand will remove every single color that is alike in the same area. So if I click on the green, you can see all the surrounding green will delete. So that's how I'm cleaning up the image, but you'll see that there are some small pieces that are left over that the wand can't clean up. So if that happens, all I need to do is zoom in so that I can see what's going on. You can see these tiny little images all around. The eye really helps out so I can see what color needs to be or what is going to be cut out. And by using that eraser, I can go in and get rid of the places that I don't want cut. I can change the size of that eraser as well. But when I try to do that one, it's just not cleaning up that line right there. So that's why that eraser is a really great deal. But I might have to zoom in a little bit more so I can have an easier time getting rid of those lines right there. And I can also adjust and change the size of the eraser just to make sure I don't mess up. And you know what? If you go too far in and cut off the snowman a little bit, just click on that back button, the back arrow button on top, and it will redo or undo according to what you click on. Now look, that eye is now showing that the top of the snowman is okay, but now I have to focus on the scarf. So I'm going to zoom back in and change it so that my view is a little bit easier of this area right there. Now I have to unclick the eye and I need to, um, from there, visually take away these images 
and if I think it looks good, click on the eye again. Chances are I missed a little spot. So creating an image by doing these layers in design space is very easy to do. It's just time consuming. So as long as you realize that for each layer, you're going to spend about five minutes. If you have five, 10 layers, it's going to take you a good hour to create these images. Another thing for you to pay attention to is that this image is being uploaded into the design space. And due to copyright reasons, you are not allowed to share these images with any of your colleagues or coworkers or any of your fellow cricketers. So that's another thing for you to pay attention to is, you know, that's just something that unfortunately people take advantage of as far as these copyright images. And um, these are for personal use only, obviously, and you just have to be really careful with that. But with that said, you can kind of see what I'm doing in here as far as cleaning it up. And what I'm going to try to do is finish this layer up and in between, just kind of look, see what needs to be done, go back in. That looks good. Oh, but down in there needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So you kind of have to go back and forth between the eye and the eraser. Now, the more intricate the image is, the more time you're going to spend doing this. And the more undoing you're going to need to do because chances are you'll accidentally go into the image. But let's go ahead and zoom back and take a look at our snowman. And you can see all the cut images look great. So I'm going to save this as snowman, but I'm going to change it to snowman white or white body or something like that so that I know in the future when I put him together that that needs to be white. Because when you do upload these images into design space, um, they will default to a black and it's very hard to distinguish between the different layers unless they're clearly labeled. The next step, we're just going to do a couple more of these. We're going to try and get that snowman again, and this time we're going to try to do another layer. So we have the white layer, we have the black outline, and we need to go into intermediate here. Now let's go for, and you see how I'm using that wand there, I'm getting rid of the bulk collar. It'll make it a lot easier for me to get rid of them. Now here's where you have the ability to decide what you want to do. Sometimes people will create an outline for their images. So that's what I'm going to show you right here. The issue is it's going to cut this tiny little black line that's going to be ultimately the top layer of your snowman. You don't necessarily need this tiny layer. Um, if you create enough of your own layers, you won't necessarily need that. So this is just showing you how you could do it. But ultimately, the decision is yours on whether or not you want to do it. So here you can see the hat itself. You can see the black for the snowman for the outline. And we are going to go ahead and create this layer right here and go on with another, another section. Everything looks pretty good. And like I said, ultimately, if you just say I'm doing all black, I'm doing all white, I'm doing all the orange, you're going to not be so confused over creating these layers. So I'm going to save this. And while I'm saving this under snowman, black layer, line, outline, anything like that, I do need to go back and address the fact I keep saying intermediate. <laughs> it's actually moderate, moderately complex image. It's just easier for me to say beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So I apologize for that in, ahead of time. So we're going to go in and create another layer. We are going into uh, our snowman image and we are clicking on moderately complex image and I'm using the wand to clean up everything except for the orange. So I'm getting the bulk of the color out of the way and then I'm going to use my eraser to go in and clean that area up. And like I said, this is something that can take very um, a lot, a long amount of your time, or it can be something that takes, you know, gosh, almost an hour. It just depends on your layers. And I specifically chose the snowman for that reason. He's pretty simple to do, but at the same time, you can see that regardless of, of his simplicity, it still takes some time to go in there. 
And if you miss one little pixelation, it could show up as a dot on your screen. And that's why you want to use that, that eye right there to make sure that you don't miss anything. So I'm going to try and go in and clean it up the best I can. And I'm going to actually speed up this video. You kind of get the point that all I'm doing is cleaning up everything except for the orange. So from there, we'll go ahead and speed this up and we'll go to the next, next step in the process. I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the green scarf and the pink cheeks as well. And then we'll work on uploading it into Design Space. Okay, so the orange is finally done, and I have uploaded all the tags into there, and I'm going to save the image. And from here, you can see all of my four layers that I've created. I'm going to click on them and click on insert. I'm going to go ahead and add them to my uh, template right here. Now you can see that all these images are black. The only one I really want to keep black are the outline and the um, shadow. So it shows when I save that, that it's orange, it's going to really help me out with creating those layers and making sure that they're the right color. So I need to put white because I know it says white right there. Now I'm lucky right now because this layer is all ready to go. So I'm just going to kind of uh, eyeball it and open it, um, enlarge it or reduce it and move it around in order to fit right on my snowman background. It looks pretty good. I might go in and, and fiddle around with it in a little bit, but right now that looks pretty good. And we're gonna move him around and let me go ahead and grab the other stuff as well. Let's see, there's the orange. Now the orange I'm having a little bit of trouble with because I don't remember where exactly the, uh, the orange part is in the hand. So I just have to play around with it a little bit. And one thing that we are gonna do at the end of this project is we're going to save it as a project so that we don't have to go in and scale everything again to make everything match. So that will help out a little bit with saving time in the future. But right now, it's just a matter of playing around and trying to get everything, um, you know, the same size. So here's my little man, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to uh, apply this outline, but honestly, it isn't needed. By the time I put that white on top of the black outline, it will be fine. Now, if I were to go back, I probably would only have the mouth, eyes, and buttons as a layer. And that way everything else would kind of fall into place. But like I said, this is just for um, demonstration reasons, so you'll be able to see from there. Now look at the nose and the twigs. They all work really well, except for the hat is hiding that little band. So I'm going to just for fun, click on it and move the orange to the front. And we can kind of take a look at that band here. I also have the eyes and the scarf, which I worked on earlier to, to add to this. So you can see all it is is a matter of placing it in the right spot and putting the little cheeks in there too. I love his little cheeks. And everything looks pretty good. There's my little snowman. I could add more layers to him if I wanted to. But honestly, he's pretty. I'm pretty happy with him. Like I said, ultimately, I could go back and only do the eyes, mouth, and buttons. And I probably would do that. But this just shows you how you can go about creating that layered look. Now, all of these images are individually um, scalable. So in order to ensure that he stays the same size throughout, you're going to draw a square all around the entire snowman and you're going to group him together. Now, when you scale that down and enlarge it, he will stay the same. Now, in order to ensure that you don't have to go through this all over again with getting these pieces together, go ahead and save that as a project for a snowman. 
And please note that if you do this, you are not able to share this uploaded image. Because of copyright issues that I discussed earlier, you cannot click on that box and share it. So just keep that in mind, please. Now, if you are making a card, you could <clears throat> take him and you could add him to a card, or you can create a canvas and open them up that way. But honestly, it's just a little bit too hard to do that. So what I would recommend is opening up the project that you had saved because it's gonna be very hard. You see what I'm doing here is I'm actually creating a card and I'm looking for my snowman again. He's gonna show up in layers because I uploaded him in separate layers. So to keep myself from having to do that over and over again, the best bet for creating a card with my snowman would be to get rid of this project by itself so I don't have to play all over again getting everything to the right size. So go back in there, exit out of it, open up your snowman again, which is going to give me a hard time because I'm already on that screen. So let me go ahead and close out of everything and create a new project. So just a moment here. See how it's telling me I can't open it? It's just because it's already, it thinks it's already opened. So I'm going to create a new project. And now I'm going to open up my project, my little snowman. He should be fine. So I can open him from here. And from there, set your canvas. If you do it that way, you won't have to worry about, like I said, creating those different layers. So made my little card, put my snowman in front of it, and scale him down. So he is all ready to go for my card, and I think you, that's it. I apologize for it being so long, but it was in depth. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more ideas, and visit my website at www.glitterthumbs.com for more inspiration. Thanks again for watching. You have a great day.